It has been a bloody minute, that's for sure. Oops, oops, this very merry Christmas. <laughs> Welcome back. I have been MIA. Seriously MIA. I have not uploaded a YouTube, YouTube in like a month. And I've just been actually enjoying my life. Like it's something that I absolutely needed and loved. And now I'm back and I hopefully will be doing a video a week again. So today, this week's video is going to be a day in the life on holidays. I am down in Nuri Bar. We're staying at Al's house, Al's family's house. They bought this property not too long ago and they're completely renovating it. So some of it is still in the works. Some of it is um, finished. So this is the main house and then Alec has like a private cottage about 20 meters over um, that's super cute as well so this is where we're staying for the next two weeks and it was my birthday yesterday i'm 26 i really don't know how to feel about it it makes me excited but at the same time 26 is closer to 30 than it is to 20 and that scares me because i swear i still feel like i left school like two years ago anyway <laughs> Let's not start this video off like that, it's a bit depressing. But we've been here for a couple of days now, absolutely loving it. We really haven't done much at all, like we've just been going to the beach and things like that. So today is going to be our very first day that is something that is like, got to do a little bit of work still, still got to go work out and then everything else is just a bit of fun. I think Steve wants to go to the driving range today. Every second or third day we have to either play golf or go to the driving range. Like that's like his mantra, is like, you can't miss that many days of golf, otherwise you'll lose it. I don't think you can lose something that quickly, but sure, I'll go with it because I'm supportive. I'm a supportive wife. Anyway, I'm gonna do my skincare and then we will start the day. My skin has gotten so much better actually. Let me do a little quick show and tell. There's definitely some, not scarring as such, but it just kind of sits under. I definitely need to get micro needling. Um, on both of the sides, but it's so much better. And before everyone comes at me being like, what did you do? Oh my God, it's just time. Every single time that I have a skin breakout or whatever, it just takes time for it to relax. Like my hormones just kind of leveled out. There wasn't anything I specifically did. I did go and see a naturopath to get a general idea and I still need to do, um, there's like some test that she sent me just to check up on everything, hormone levels and things like that. So I still need to do that, but I mean, everything else wasn't net, like naturally. I didn't really specifically do anything. I've got a cold as well, if you can't tell. My voice is raspy. Also, Stephen, I made Stephen a coffee this morning. Did not care, did not want it, did not like it. Rude, might I add, I don't like coffee and I've never made one in my life, but I saw a coffee maker here. So I thought I'd try it. So Steve's gone to go get a coffee and we had breakfast burrito wraps for breakfast. The sweet potato wraps that I love from Woolies. Oh, I need to get some more of this. You know what? I'll do a whole skin, like morning skin routine again because it's been updated.
done. We're gonna go to the beach first, take a look to the beach, have a swim, chill before it gets too hot. And then we are gonna go to the gym a little bit later. Hi, I have a question I need to ask you. Do you wanna go to the beach? You wanna go for a swim? You wanna go to the beach? <laughs> Outfit of the day. We have the Hamilton top in hot coral and the manly bottoms in hot coral. And then I just put on a little bandana, a little yellow bandana. And I haven't even shown you guys yet because I haven't been on, but I got Invisalign. The first tray, like the first day that you wear a new tray, that's when it you can feel the pressure. But other than that, it's not too bad. That's it. Let's get a beach towel. And a little one. <sighs> You gotta tick off things when you're going to the beach and you're setting up a bag. You know, like you need to have things ticked off the list. Like, I've got a bag, a hat, a bucket hat, sunglasses, book. I'm reading Power of the Dog. And I'm almost done. And once that's done, I have a cartel. I'm gonna bring both in case I finish my first book. Slip, slop, slap, babies. Slip, slop, slap. Steve doesn't even know what I'm referring to. Slip, slop, slap this very Merry Christmas. Make sure you don't get China, but that ball's not going anywhere. It's right there, Lulu. It's on the stick. Back from the beach, I just had a shower and completely washed myself and just got rid of all the salt because I have been so salty lately. I actually need to put a little bit of a hair mask on, but it is afternoon. We basically spent the whole day at the beach. We also went to the gym. I've completely made this bathroom so like misty. So I'm just gonna put you guys here, do my skincare, and then put in my hair mask. And then I'm straight up just gonna have a nap. My dad got here not too long ago, and um, he just met us here at home. There's nothing better than feeling like you have a hydrated skin. But my skin is so dry naturally, so <sighs> hydrating my skin is the best thing. Right now, hair. Oh, this is gonna be a nightmare. Let's section it. Because it's like somewhat wavy. It's not curly, but it's wavy. When I go to the beach, if I don't detangle my hair, it literally turns into dreadies. Like, there's little curls that come through. Just like matted lumps of hair that come together and they join forces. Does anyone else have like that toxic thought that when you do hair masks or like any hair product, when it says like, leave in for 10 minutes and then wash out, that if you leave it in, it's gonna do better for your hair. Like if you leave it in for 24 hours, <laughs> it's going to do more. I don't even know if that's true. I'm literally bed ready. AKA ready to sleep. AKA nap time. <sighs> Finished my book last night and I'm on to the second one now. Steve is currently reading this one as well because he finished the one that I just finished in London and this is the next of the series. So I'm gonna start this book today. I bought it for seven pound. 
That's how much it cost me in England. Seven pound for a book like this. These books literally cost like 25 to 30 Australian dollars. Seven pound versus 25 AUD. What the freak? Like, why is it so expensive to read in Australia? This book is dedicated to, look at all those names of people it's dedicated to. And then the second page. And underneath the second page, it says, journalists murdered or disappeared in Mexico during the period covered in this novel. There were others. Crazy.